you ever have this problem when you're coding with cursor? First of all, you should be coding with cursor, especially if you don't know what you're doing like me. Do you ever have the problem though where you create some big long conversation over here in the chat and Claude or whichever LLM you're using starts to get lost, starts to recreate code it already created and it's just a mess? I have that problem a lot. The way that I've been able to solve that recently is to create a pretty detailed, thorough, thoughtful software specification that sequentially defines what we're going to do to create the piece of software in, at the biggest picture and doesn't have any code in it. And I create that with Claude itself. So here's one I did that's got the functional requirements, the summary, the data model, and even timelines, which are not relevant to, to cursor. But you put that in a spec markdown file and then as you start building, you say, okay, command L, I wanna build, make sure that you're referencing the spec ND file. You say, hey, I wanna make sure that I am building this thing. So let's start with step one. And then it has that context. And then as you go through, it's really important to, instead of using just command L, enter command L, command enter, which gives it access to the entire code base. So then you can reference everything that you've done before and say, now, so you clear your, your cursor chat and you say, now we're on step four, we're gonna define attributes for each collection. Please review everything that we've done so far and make sure that this next step takes that into account. Command enter, and then it'll reference the entire code base as well as the specification that you're in. I found that this works really well. It helped me create a super cool thing that creates databases automatically with all the relationships and attributes and permissions and everything that I need in AppWrite. By the way, if you want an example of this, you can look over here in, in AppWrite Quick Deploy. This is a public project. And you can get like the sample specs and even the sample data model. I do the exact same thing with a data model. Just have GPT create it. And if you do that, this set of scripts is created in such a way that they are, it doesn't matter what data model you're using. All you have to do is copy paste your new data model copy paste your new spec and these will create an app write database with all the appropriate permissions and collections and it's great. Okay, 